In this tutorial, we will cover Ansible. Let's look at the setup first. We have the Ansible master and two nodes. Ansible master is running Ubuntu. Node 1 is running Ubuntu also. Node 2 is running Amazon Linux. Let's connect to our master. Now that we're connected, let's do sudo su. Then update the cache. The next step will be to install Ansible. It will take a few seconds. Now that we have Ansible installed, we'll check if we have Python. We do. Let's check if we have Ansible. We do. Now we will go to the configuration file for Ansible. Let's do change directory and go to etc. etc. Ansible. Now that we're here, we can do ls and see the files that we have in here. We need this file, the Ansible configuration file. So let's do vim and open that file. In here it says uncomment inventory and sudo user. We will do that. So let's come down. This is the inventory. Uncomment this one. And here is the sudo user. And we will save the file now. Now that we're done with this, we'll need to copy the key into the same directory, which is here. So we'll do here vim and name the key. This is the name for my key. I have the key installed in my machine. This is the one. Right click and edit with the notepad. I'll copy this and paste it here. Let's save this file now. And then we need to change the permission for the key. I'll copy this and paste it here. After that, we need to see this file. We have it here. So let's do vim. And in this file, we need to add the nodes, node 1 and node 2. Node 1 has a private IP 10.0.0.0.6. Node 2 has a private IP 10.0.0.5. If you don't know the IP, you can just come here and check it. This is node 1, 10.0.0.0.6. And let's see node 2. 10.0.0.5 So let's copy these lines and paste them here right here okay this is the name of the group I named my group div and this is the name of the first machine, which is node. And the Ansible hosts, this is the IB, uh, the private IB for the host. And we have the Ansible user by default. It's Ubuntu. And Ansible SSH private key file. We have the private key in here. And etc. And Ansible. And, uh, and the name of the, of the key is mylinux.p. The same thing goes for this one with the different name for the Ansible user and of course a different IB. Let's save this file now. Now that we have the files saved we can ping the machines 
to make sure that they're connected to the master. Now, as you can see here, they're connected. Node 2 pung, node 1 pung. This is it for the first tutorial.